So Peter, how, how much of the festival do you think you have booked so far? We've got all the major components in place at this ah. point. All the big acts. Uh -huh. We haven't announced everything yet. Uh -huh. okay. At least as of this moment, probably by the time people see this, we will have announced the rest of the acts. But so that even though this is a couple of days before and nobody's going to see this until then, you could probably tell us. Well, <laughs> we're going to close with the, the heaviest final day lineup we've ever had. Really? It's going to include Taj Mahal, Mavis Staples, Robert Randolph and the Family Band, Nikki Hill, John Primer, and Robert Plant and the Sensational Space Shifters. Uh, did you say Robert Plant? I said Robert Plant. The Robert Plant from... Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. <laughs> His new project is a really amazing uh, synthesis of African and Mississippi Delta roots. He's got an African bow, string bow, bow, bow player who's like this master from uh, Mali. And uh, it's, it's going to blow people away. I mean, we're, 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 we are in the middle right now of trying to figure out what we're going to do to keep all hell for breaking loose, basically, <laughs> to limit the size of the crowds. Uh -huh. I believe we're going to end up having to go to some sort of ticketed admission on Sunday. Wow. Um, just to limit the crowds. I mean, we saw with Steve Miller last year, uh -huh. <clears throat> when we had 5,000 people outside of the park with cans of food who couldn't get in, that's okay, because uh, the park was at capacity. And it, a lot of the capacity was, was taken by people who hadn't donated anything to the food bank. We know that from the statistics we do at, you know, the polling we do at uh -huh. the gate. Uh -huh. So we just thought, you know, we can't really afford to bring acts like Robert Plant yeah. if people are not going to step up and support the food bank. Wow. Because, I mean, it, you know, this is a great, uh, great thing that for everybody that this festival happens, but the bottom line is that we it has to support the food bank. Right. It's not going to be, it's still going to be the deal of the summer. Uh -huh. Sunday is still going to be the deal of the summer. Yeah. If you buy a four-day pass, you will get in on Sunday. I know that much. If you buy any of the passes, you will automatically get in on Sunday. But we may have, um, we may have a kind of a nominal admission to uh, just keep the throngs from storming the gates. <laughs> We're looking at a lot of, this all came together very recently, uh -huh. kind of at the last minute. I've, I've actually been interested in getting plant here for a few years. Really? I, I, um, when I was down in the Mississippi Delta two, two falls ago to go to the King Biscuit Blues Festival, me and some friends, uh, Stan Street, who is our Crossroads stage manager at the festival, he lives down in Clarksdale <clears throat> and runs a small gallery there. And we were all crashing at his, uh, in his loft upstairs. Uh -huh. And he said, oh, let's go get some coffee at this little uh, bed and breakfast down the street. It was this old plantation that was turned into a mm -hmm. bed and breakfast. And we walked in, and there were a couple guys sitting down there. And this, there was this one really eccentric-looking guy with long hair and rings and stuff. And I went, who is that guy? <laughs> and then he, so he said a couple things, and it was clear he was British. And I, did, you know, I didn't recognize him out of context. I just was like, who is this guy, and why is he in Clarksdale? So then my, my buddies kind of went, that was Robert Plant. <laughs> so um, we ended up kind of hanging around with him that morning. Came over, back over to Stan's gallery and bought some of Stan's paintings. And mm -hmm. um, we were just kind of all hanging out schmoozing. I had to run off to the festival, but he, he ended up hanging out there most of the day with my buddies. And um, I just thought, this is a sign that someday he's going to come play Waterfront. <laughs> But he was, you know, he's never been touring. He never, you know, at least when we need him, he's never, he's, you know, if he tours at all, it's like in Australia or South America uh -huh. or something. And, um, oh, it's kind of a long story, but I got a tip from the program director at Kink one day. She said, uh -huh. look into Robert Plant. Uh -huh. And I said, I've looked into Robert Plant. He's not doing anything. Well, look again. So um, Kink kind of gave me the tip and uh -huh. we made an offer 
first they didn't take it, then I sent a bunch of photos from waterfront of the crowd and the spectacle, yeah. Yeah. and they wrote yeah. back and they said, okay, we're, we're coming. Ah. So what's the music like? Well, I, like I said, it's a, it's a synthesis of, like one of the guitar players in the band uh, plays with a lot of African bands in uh -huh. Europe. Uh -huh. Uh, Justin Adams, I think is his name. He produced to one of you know Tenarowin's breakout album. Uh -huh. So there are a lot of guys who have kind of world African experience, music experience, and then um, some of the band are, are are U.S. guys who have a lot of uh, blues and roots, you know, Americana experience. So it's going to be really interesting. I mean. He, <laughs> They do, you know, they do a fair number of blues covers, but they're really twisted, you know, from what I've heard. Uh -huh. um, I mean, Plant doesn't try to sing like uh, Sonny Boy Williams. You know? <laughs> he never has and never will. I mean, he's, you know, what's, what's, uh, what kind of surprised me, um, has really all surprised me about him, is just so how he has kind of kept reinventing yeah. himself and what he wants to do. They don't do any Led Zepp covers, do they? I'm sure they will do a few Led Zepp <laughs> covers. Really? Covers. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, people want to, but they yeah. won't be exactly like, you know, they have this African bow guy playing yeah. in the middle yeah. of it. Yeah. it. It'll be probably playing Jimmy Page's guitar solo, you know, on this African bow. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be very interesting. But, you know, Plant's not the whole show. I mean, he's, right. he's uh, there's a lot else coming. We've got... Um, well, let's see. Let's start on the fourth. We got Joe Lewis Walker. March fourth is coming back. They haven't been around for a while. Yes, yeah. um, uh, we got Ted Robinson. Odd for, the, odd for March fourth to be even be in town during the summer. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. Waterfront was kind of their first big gig. Yeah. And was the springboard. Uh -huh. that has taken to them to like Lollapalooza. I think. Right. I know yeah. they played a lot of the big GM band festivals. Yeah. They are, you know, they're back in the East Coast and playing down. Yeah. All over the place. So, uh, so who else? Anyway, they're coming home. Um, well, kind of uh, uh, under the radar guy's Tad Robinson. I describe him as like New England's version of Curtis Salgado. <laughs> he's a he's a you know blue eyed soul guy, and he's got a great voice. Mm -hmm. He plays harmonica. He's never been out here before. He's wow. got a really great band that includes um, Alex Schultz on guitar. Alex played in the. Uh, Rod Piazza's group for a long time uh -huh. has recorded with dozens of blues guys. Uh, Friday, we've got... Friday's a really interesting day. Uh -huh. um, we've got... Well, Eric Burden is headlining. <laughs> we've got Sandy Tom, who is this... Um, British version of Bonnie Raitt. Mm -hmm. She's a platinum-selling artist in Britain. I don't think she's ever been here. She's also Joe Bonamassa's girlfriend. Uh -huh. But she's got a career that actually sort of eclipses his in the mm -hmm. United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. She just wants to come play. So wow. I said, sure. Why come not? On <laughs> um, we also got Carl Denson from Tiny Universe is coming back. Mm -hmm. Alan Stone, this uh, really fabulous young soul singer from Seattle. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's really breaking out. He's been on Letterman and Leno mm -hmm. and playing major festivals. I think he's on the jazz, New Orleans Jazz Festival mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. And that says something that they brought a Seattle act yeah. to Jazz Fest. Yeah, that really. means he's happening. Yeah. yeah. Um, this really uh, great acoustic, solo acoustic guy, Blind Boy Paxton, mm -hmm. he's kind of like a... 21st century version of Lead Belly. Wow. He plays, well, he's a great guitar player, but he also plays like Fats Waller, stride piano and stuff, and he's, he's really fabulous. Uh -huh. I've been trying to get him here for a few years. Uh -huh. So he'll be around for a few days. Uh, Hot 8 Brass Band is coming back. Nice. Um, Saturday, we've got John Hyatt. Uh -huh. We've got the North Mississippi All Stars. We've got uh, this Texas guitar guy named Danny Click. Uh -huh. Danny Click and the Hell Yeahs. He's he's pretty awesome under the radar <laughs> guitar player. I think people dig. And of course, the other thing we're doing on Saturday is the whole Zydeco thing over on the front porch stage, which will yep. include Chubby Carrier, Pine Leaf Boys, who are a 
great mm -hmm. Cajun band from Louisiana. Yeah. Horace Trahan, who's like kind of the most happening Zydeco guy mm -hmm. down in that part of the world now, but he never comes out here. Yeah. So he'll be here. Uh, Little Wayne and the same old two step, and you know, a couple other things. Yeah. And then Sunday, uh, yeah, Sunday, like I said, we've got so Taj Mahal, Robert Randolph, amazing. Mavis Stables, yeah. and Robert Plant, huh. and some other stuff. There'll be huh. swing dance competitions on the front porch, and Nikki Hill will be playing. Mm -hmm. um, Who are you going to get to play with? Well, well, that remains to be seen. <laughs> I think Vest will be back. You can say David Vest. I haven't officially nailed all that down yet, but I'm pretty sure David Vest will be coming back. It's uh -huh. been a couple of years. Uh -huh. um, now the after hours, uh, the stuff going off, going on over the uh -huh. area. That should be pretty intense. I mean, one really? one night we've got Robert Randolph and the North Mississippi All Stars wow. playing together over there. That should be crushing. Yeah. yeah. Robert Randolph did his first secular big gig opening for North Mississippi All-Stars huh. at this club in uh, Manhattan about, mm -hmm. it wasn't even that long ago, it was probably six or seven years ago. Yeah. Nobody knew who Robert Randolph was. He was only played in gospel churches up to that point. And of course now he plays Bonnaroo and you right. know, all the big jam right. festivals everywhere. Right. So that should be pretty interesting to have those guys paired. Yeah. I'm sure they'll play together and you know, they're old comrades. They, they've done a lot of work in the past together. They did that word project. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember that, but it was Medeski mm -hmm. and uh, from Martin Medeski and Wood and um, the slide guy from uh, Dickerson, from uh -huh. Luther Dickerson from the North Mississippi All Stars, and Robert Randolph put put out that project, which was a sort of vaguely secularized version of the gospel pedal steel stuff. Well, July can't come too soon, can it? I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. We've got a few logistical things to sort of think through with, you know. It's it's going to be dense. It's really, yeah, it'll be action-packed. <laughs>